Hi everybody, today we're going to talk about how to write an abstract section for a science lab report. So first thing we're going to talk about is why this section is included, then we'll talk about what is included, and some example abstracts. Teachers, please look in the video description. There's a link to an assignment that you could use to have students practice writing abstracts. All right, so why do we include an abstract section in a lab report? It's basically a summary of the entire lab experiment. And in a scientific journal, this is going to be the most frequently read section. The reason it's the most frequently read section is because people read it to decide if they want to read the rest of the lab or not. So although we put this right at the top, at the beginning of a lab report, we actually do this last. So if you're watching this video right now and you haven't already made your graph and written your conclusion, I want you to close this video, go back and do those things, and then um, come back to writing the abstract, unless you're doing this specifically just to practice the abstract today. Okay, so here's an example abstract from a scientific journal. So um, this was published in 1998, and you can see what it is about, and there's a brief summary. Okay, so they tell you, you know, how many student, how many children they were testing, the age of the children, and what they did, and then they summarize the results. So you can see it's short, it's to the point, and if you were more curious about this, then you would continue to read the rest of the article. So these are the things that are included in an abstract. We use one or two concise, meaning short to the point sentences for each of these things that are bulleted. Okay, so you're gonna tell what is the experiment about? Why is it interesting or important? What did we expect to find? Why? What were the procedures? What were the general results? And then, um, were the results reliable? Why or why not? And then um, what do the results mean? And why should we care about the results? Just like in any technical writing, we don't want to use personal pronouns when we're writing an abstract. The abstract is written in paragraph format. So in this example, um, Let's look at the first sentence. This experiment was testing how the colors of solar cooker affected the change in temperature of water. So we're telling what the experiment was about. This is important information because villages near the equator could cook food without using expensive fuel. So we're telling why it is important. So if you don't know, a solar cooker is basically like a cardboard box that's been modified to collect energy from the sun and raise the temperature of something. The hypothesis was that if the col the hypothesis was that if the color of the solar cooker is black, that it will absorb more sunlight, heating water more quickly than other colors. Okay? So we're we're saying what the hypothesis is. Next comes methods. Water was placed in a solar cooker for 15 minutes and the temperature was recorded every 3 minutes. This was tested with four different colors lining the solar cooker. Okay, so there's the procedure we summarized. Now we're going to move on to results. The black solar cooker increased nine degrees Celsius in 15 minutes, which is three degrees higher than the other colors tested. Okay, so there's the re results section. Okay, the hypothesis was accepted. There we go. We've talked about that one. These results show it could be possible to cook food using only the, so the sun as a fuel source. So that's answering the conclusion. What do these uh, results mean? Why should anyone be excited or interested in the findings? So please check out the link in the assignment description if you are looking for an activity to practice the skill set. Um, I will give you a slide similar to this where you will be given um, this list of things to include and then an experimental question, maybe a graph that you can then um, use to help you answer uh, and write an, your abstract.
teachers, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of activities in my video descriptions that go along with my videos that you can just grab and use the very next day. Bye. Have a great day.